So in today's video we're going to take a look at how to install Vita 3K on a Windows system but this way of installation also works for the Android system as I've installed it on my phone in exactly the same way following the, the instructions given in this video so if you want to do it for Android or for Windows following this instructions then that's fine. I'm not sure about the other two because I've never installed it on Linux or the Mac so but I'm sure there's videos out there on YouTube that show you how to do this. So first things first, um, go into Google and search for Vita 3K. Now I will put a link to this um, emulator in the description below. So you click on that. And if you want to check to see if your computer or uh, Android system is capable of running Vita 3K, if you go to the facts section, FAQ section, it does give you information there on what are the minimum requirements for this, for this emulator to run correctly. So it's got to be on the Android, Android 7 or above for it to work, plus the other bits that it just requires as well. So once you've found out whether your system can run it or not, if you go to the Downloads page, and then from here select which one you want to download. So I'm going to download the Windows one. I'm not going to click on this because I've already done this prior to this recording this video, so I've got the files already downloaded. So once you've done that, then we go on to install the program onto the system. We first need to unzip the file we've downloaded and place it in a directory on our desktop somewhere. So do this and place it in a directory that you know where it's located. We then need to run the program. Once the program's up and running, we then need to select the language you're using. So for me, it's England and English in the United Kingdom. So we select on that and click the next button. We need to leave the emulator path as it is. If you want to change that to something different, then by all means do so. And then we then need to download the firmware. So we click on the download firmware button, which takes us to the PlayStation website. Now we click on the download update button. If it doesn't work at first, then just press the right mouse button and save link as, because this will then download it for you and save it to where you want it to go. I put mine in the same directory as the emulator, so I knew where it was. Once this is downloaded, we then need to close that down, go back to the emulator and download the second package, which is at the bottom. This again will be downloaded. It takes a bit of time, but it does download once it's been clicked on. So once we've got both those packages that we need, the firmware and the font package, we click on the install firmware file. We click on the first one we downloaded and click open. And then this will install the firmware. Once it's installed, it will come up with this message and also have a, a different icon next to the download firmware button that shows that it has been downloaded, which is a V. So we then click on the install firmware again to download the font package, which we've already done. So we click on that and click open, and this will install the font package as well. This takes a few minutes, but it's not too long. Again, once completed, it will come up with the message at the end to, carry, to clarify that this has now been installed. We then click on next. I click on next again, there's just some interface settings there, if you want to change them, and then that's it, you've in, done the initial setup, click on OK. So we then run the run it again and click the update the database, click on OK, we just need to create a user. So you can put whatever you want in there, I just kept it as user1 and clicked on the confirm button. Click on OK. We then click on the user, which brings us to this main page. Now I'm just going to pause the video here for a second to go into details around the ROMs that it requires. Now I'm not going to give you links to where the ROMs can be found, but Google is your friend, that's all I'm going to say. I will also put a link in the description to a good friend of mine, Steve Benway's video, where he installs different um, games on a lot of different Android systems, and he does give hints as to where you can find these ROMs. And like he says in his video as well, once you've downloaded the actual file, you then need to zip that file up before the system will allow you to play it currently. Now, I don't know if that'll change in the future or if there's a workaround for that, but that's the way I'm going to be doing it today. So as with most emulators, you've got a lot of options at the top of your screen. So you can select your controls, etc. and all things like that, and you've got configurations you can mess about with as well. So once you've done that, you click on file and install zip. We then need to select the folder we're going to install the game from. So the game I'm going to install is Asphalt Injection, the racing game. It takes a few moments to install, but once it's completed, it will come up with the installation complete page.
From there we can then select the game in the menu and it opens like a Vita game. So we just click on start and the game will open. There are a few glitches in the game and it's far from perfect emulation but it's a very good start for a fairly new emulator. Also one other point to make out is when you want to get rid of the games from your system you don't just delete the ROM you have to right click and click on delete and it will uninstall it from the system just like the Vita would do. If you enjoyed this video then please like and subscribe as it helps the channel. Also if you click the notification icon, the bell icon on YouTube then it will also give you an update when I go live most weekends where we stream different systems every week. For daily updates on information that I find on the internet such as information regarding emulators and games etc then please follow my Facebook page. This link can be found in the book.